guys, I'm on today with some projects that I completed with my newest Globe Land items that they sent me. I get to choose what I want and then share it with you and you get a 10% off coupon. So use that link below. So I used this, I believe it has like nine stamps. It's this long sheet. It's wonderful. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine, like postcard type little tag types, little poetry. So I decided just to kind of make embellishments um, for future journals. Okay, so what I did first is using this set here with the two. I thought of Miss Vienna's turning two, so for a little book for her. And so I stamped it onto pink paper. Isn't that pretty? And then just to highlight the two, took a... Um, alcohol marker, tri-blend, and colored in the two. And then added some stickers and some lace and a little bit of bling. So I think that's going to be super cute in a little book about Miss Vienna. So I was very excited about that. With that um, order, I also got, and this is in, I have it on my tray, magnetic tray now, but it's all these tags, and I use, I did not, you can make them shaker tags, and I'll do that in the future, but this time... I just was kind of in this junk journal mode here, so, and you can see you get the inner piece. I used that, I used, did some reinforcers, and I also used the banner piece. So cute. So, what I did with that is I made this little tag, and I had this canvas-like um, paper, and I just distress inked it first, and then stamped on top of that. I thought I'd try that, and that worked out really well. So this was a frame, and then this little banner comes from that set, and I used the word approved from this set, and I also used the 25, this ticket right here, root A1522, 25 cents. So very cute. And then on the back, See, this is almost like a, it's kind of canvasy material, and I used, again, took my Distress Inks and just kind of did some colors down the middle, and then on top of it, I stamped a flower that came from this, where is it, right here. Isn't that pretty? And I did that in a brown. And there's that um, whole reinforcer on there, too. So, yeah, you can be, but it doesn't have to be. Um, a shaker. So there you go. I thought that turned. I just had so much fun just kind of free creating. Um, I was looking for envelopes because you know I've ordered them. Oh wait, before I get to the envelope, I did this one on that canvasy material, and this one came from this set. There is so much on this set you can use, and I just remember that they're kind of red or blue on the edges, so I just went and inked it red and blue. And it's this postcard, of course. But yeah, it's this one right here. See me? I got a twitchy thumb. What the heck? It's been doing that lately. Doctor said not to worry about it. So, okay. Anyway, so I went ahead and did that. And I just stamped it in black and then kind of colored it up. Okay. So very pretty. Then I had the whole reinforcer piece of paper left, so I cut that and tore it off. And I went over this with a flower from that one set. Let's see. Right here, and some purple. And then I just took from this one the word love. And then a butterfly. So there's the word love from that stamp set. So I just kind of isolated it, just inked that up. And then I did a butterfly from this set in purple. So it all kind of tied together. And then I did in different colors. Um, it may be difficult. The road may be difficult difficult and the path oh different and the path may be rocky but I believe you can do it so I just kind of colored that up in some purples and greens to tie these two purples and greens and behind there that whole thing is this stamp here 
Looks like kind of like a library card, maybe? Lucky Drive-In Theater. Just really fun stuff. Look at the blotches and the A, B, C, D. And the same came from the flower stamp. So I thought that turned out really cool. And I did a little bit of inking on top. So there you go. Fun to add into a journal, right? Okay, one more. Let's see here. I did this on to, oh no, I got two more, sorry. I used this one, Thinking of You, and I stamped it onto a light, sagey green piece of paper. And I just went around and kind of roughed up the edges and took um, some green distress ink and did the sides. So there's that. Then, then I also use the last one is what I use. I think I've used everything but the 10 cent stamp. Is this one with the butterfly? And before I stamped it, I took um, inks again. I just took the pads and kind of swiped them around to make a kind of twirly, different background on off-white paper, cream-colored cardstock. And then came up with the butterfly and the flowers. And I just think that is so pretty. The way, kind of gives the way that I did this, gives it movement for the butterfly, I think. So very fun set, lots and lots of options. I need to make more with this piece. And then I have this set because you can do so many. I mean, look at all these. I've got this with the rounded top, cute. A little round one to hang off of something. And all these little bits you can cut out for shaker bits. I mean, little flowers. Hearts, circles. Oops. So I haven't cut everything apart. Look at that. So it's got the oval. I think I'll use that one next. So I've been having fun playing. So yeah, check my... You get 10% off. They send this to me to share with you at no cost. And in exchange, you get a... I get the items for free and you get 10% off. And their prices are really, really good. And I've been very happy with their customer service as well. So be sure to check out Globeland. Globeland, I'll leave the links below. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.